Addiction has a way of impacting your life in one way or another, whether it's a family member, friend, or even yourself. You may know someone who has struggled with an addiction to alcohol, drugs, gambling, or sex. But what about the addiction no one seems to be talking about? The one we have normalized and promoted in our society and are failing to see the harm it's causing. Let's talk about that addiction. The addiction of overconsumption. The dangerous activity of overconsuming material things, binge watching, and repetitively checking your notifications brings only temporary pleasure that you constantly need more of. How often do you feel overstimulated? Do you ever feel like you need all the outside noise and busyness of the world to just stop for a second and slow down? If you're feeling this way, there's a biological reason. Our brains weren't designed for the overstimulation of the modern world. In fact, they're being harmed by the contemporary world. Professor of neurosurgery at Harvard, Anne Christine Duhame explains, our brains evolved to be rewarded by novelty a tendency exploited by the present times. Your brain craves novelty, which is why having something new or pleasurable feels so good. This natural drive kept your ancestors alive, inspiring innovation and better living conditions. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, it's also what can lead to addiction in the destruction of our planet, especially when talking about the addiction of overconsumption. What happens to your brain when you live in today's world that is so different from your ancestors? Your distant ancestors relied on word of mouth or snail mail to hear breaking news, but you're fed the news 24 seven. Psychologist Dr. Grant warns that this media saturation overload can lead to headline stress disorder, doom scrolling, and headline anxiety, things that previous generations never had to deal with. And it's not just news that you have to deal with. TV used to be a special event that brought your grandparents' generation together because it only aired once a week at a specific time. Then came Blockbuster in 1992, a magical store where you could find thousands of movies to watch on DVD and VHS, cotton candy, and the smell of popcorn filled the store. There was something to be savored about these experiences before pay-per-view TV and now streaming. You can now binge watch an unlimited amount of content whenever you choose, which can create a high similar to drugs. Northwestern medicine psychiatrist, Dr. Alam warns that this can create a pseudo addiction to your favorite show. It's no wonder that the market research firm Nielsen found that from 2019 to 2020, the amount of time people spent each week streaming went up by a staggering 75%. The modern world is a never ending source of digital temptations, especially with the development of the smartphone made famous by the arrival of the first Apple iPhone in 2007. Ever find yourself poking fun at your friend who can't put their phone down? Or are you guilty of checking every single notification that pops up? Well, you're not alone. Medical News Today has coined a term for this behavior, constant checker, associated with a staggering 43% of the US population. Despite joking about not having enough time for anything, you make time for what you desire, and nowadays, humans are making more and more time for shopping as our society's need for consumption and overconsumption has skyrocketed. Shockingly, Americans now buy a new piece of clothing every five days on average, and we create a staggering 750% more textile waste than we did in 1960, as reported by The Atlantic. While shopping addiction isn't yet recognized as a condition in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, it's been recognized as a psychiatric disorder since the early 20th century. Very Well Mind even calls it the most socially acceptable addiction. And Everyday Health confirms that research shows shopping addictions are increasing worldwide. There's something sweet and almost serene about savoring a moment of pleasure, knowing that it's something to be treasured because it doesn't happen all that often. In today's world, you're a rebel if you put down the distractions and just be. While most of us can't sit in meditation for hours on end and perhaps struggle with even a few minutes, you do get to decide when you've had enough stimulation. The next time you feel overwhelmed, try muting your phone notifications and checking your phone when you choose to, instead of urgently or anxiously picking up your phone at every ding. 
And if you find yourself always wanting the next best thing, consider saving up for something you'll treasure for a long time. Maybe even something that will create memories and not just a temporary and fleeting high. Addiction is a real thing and is nothing to be ashamed of. If you feel like you may be struggling with an addiction, please reach out to a mental health professional for help. And if you found something that helps, please share it with us in the comments. Your words could make a big difference to someone who's struggling. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own sigh. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Sai plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.